Hey, I am back for another video. Don't judge me. Let me knock these out as much as I can and give you all a break. So let's get on with it. On the back of my hand, you can see from here to here, I have the uh, Revolution Prime and Lock <clears throat> as a primer. And down here, it's already dry, but is the um, number two concealer from Makeup Revolution as well. So some of you I know still like to use your concealer as a primer. I picked up this one because it's a 30 or 40% off sale. I do have a haul video for you guys, but I have not uploaded it yet. But I wanted to get through some swatches for you guys first. So I'm just using this one is here and the prime and lock is up here. All right, so the palette I'm gonna be swatching today is a palette I posted on Instagram, and I said, eh, no, not getting it. Who's getting it? A few of you said, yes, you're going in. I said, mm, mm. Anywho, <laughs> I went into um, Ulta, not Sephora. I went to Ulta, yesterday <sighs> it's called the unleashed palette it's vegan it's cruelty free blah 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 all that good stuff for some of you like so inside it has the hashtag tart unleashed little flyer thingy and thank goodness that's just pretty because on the inside these are the colors. They really knocked my socks off, okay? Because you have a shade of blue here. This looks like, what is this? A turquoise? It's a blue or a green? I call that turquoise. So what ifs? We have those two pretty shades. We have your warm shades right here. Oh, some deeper shades. And thank goodness there is no black shade. There is like a gold. I've created a look already using um this color is called hawkward go figure as in the bird hawk mm -hmm. so you're awkward <laughs> anyway um these are like animal animals animal themed named that's what i had in my head trying to come out with anywho so we have these nice big pans in here and um, it's not a lot of product I'm thinking that you'll probably hit pan on one or two of these shades really quickly however it smells really really good let's get on <clears throat> sorry let's get on with the swatches I did not take uh, take a, a picture of um, the, the eye look that I created with it last evening but I can tell you that when I used Hawkwind as Hawkward, not Hawkwind, Hawkward as um, my lid shade on one lid, just the color it's by itself, it looked pretty, it was nice, but when I used the glitter glue, it really amped it up and gave it a more vibrant appeal. So you might want to do that and foil it a little bit. Um, this shade, as you can tell, I it's kind of dusty because I did use it in the crease to deepen up. And it, it it's like the prettiest thing. It's a brown, but it is so pretty. All right, I'm going to get a brush. And I'm going to do each row starting from outside go from this direction this time from this top row and then work my way down so I'm gonna do these five across here and then work my way down all right so this is ooh, colified colified is the shade you know what let me go from swan song swan song is the light shade over here it looks like it's gonna be one of those iridescent things but nope it ain't it's just a little bit satiny and really has a nice shift to it 
not too colorful of a shift but a shift nonetheless i'm wiping off my brush and that was swan song and we have oh dear as in o d e d e e r oh dear because as we said it is animal themed so i'm picking up oh dear see it picks up beautifully on the brush and that's like a light what that pink Oh, it's just pretty. I can see that being a nice transition shade. Now I'm gonna go in for Hypocritical, which is that middle shade right there. And Hypocritical looks like that on the brush. And Swatch is so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's Hypocritical. Then I'm gonna go for Bare Necessities, as in B-E-A-R necessities and this is the one that is that beautiful I'm picking up a little more beautiful shade to deepen the crease with and oh my word look how heavy that is of a swatch hey you can go ham with that really really quickly now we're gonna go for qualified and that is this shade right here I'm gonna stop trying to tell you the names of the shades because look at that look how pretty it is on the brush and colified swatches like this so hey that's a good primer okay <laughs> the colors really pick up nicely they're smooth to the touch so that is the first five and I'm gonna come down here with the other five and work my way down so we're gonna start from two can do it as in a two can and two can do it is your orange shade like um, the light orange oy vey oy mami look at that you're speaking my language tart hello i think the last palette i purchased from tart that i was completely happy with was the um the toasted palette because i've given away most of my tart palettes because for some reason or another sometimes they just don't perform the way i'd like them to but this anyway let's move on no fox given lord jesus <laughs> which is this brighter orange here that brick looking orange you know what they really wanted to say, right? Y'all be cussing up in here smartly. No fucks given. Lord jeez. Anyway, this is no fucks given, as in a fox. And this, these two I used yesterday in the crease area when I created the look. And ooh, baby, they were pretty. And I can see me using this or this on the lid, on the mobile lid as a shade by itself. Like, hello, find this transition shade somewhere else and put those on the lid. You're good to go. Alrighty, let's go. I'm cleaning off this brush and I'm using the opposite side of the brush. And I'm going to go in, Iguana Love You. I just had to roll my eyes at that, but this is Iguana Love You. <laughs> I don't like iguanas in case you didn't know those little th those buggers are so bold faced and this area has no primer right in the center right there but you can see that it still goes on my skin without a primer right in the center there and it's just beautiful so that's iguana love you now we're gonna grab irrelevant the irrelevant elephant <laughs> this one irrelevant oh boy tart <laughs> i know y'all don't watch my video but <laughs> y'all be doing one y'all be on one lately huh and this is irrelevant it's a really pretty shade look at that that is irrelevant Husa. Who would not want to use that on their lid now we go to that turquoise looking shade it looks like a green to me or a blue green or a blue cross between whatever it's turquoise in my opinion of course um, it's called totally as in a toad and alley 
So totally looks like that on the brush. I'm gonna get a little bit more, totally. And I'm gonna put totally right next to irrelevant. There goes the elephant and the toad. <laughs> this is so pretty, y'all. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, let's see. Your lion is up next, and we're on the last five this last bottom row here and I'm starting here so your lion which could be another play on words as in you're lying so your lion as in Rawr! let me behave <laughs> your lion is right here <laughs> I'm picking up your lion and your lion looks like this it is a very nice neutral shade very good i could see this and this being an office shade if you go when you go to work these are shades you will want to wear on your lid so you're not too bold and brazen but if you're that bold and brazen by all means have at it i know i am when i'm when i was out working yeah i brought them loud shades i had my days and i went bold and they were like whoa but no one said anything they didn't care i did my job i'm good at my job and that was all they that mattered so yes monkey business is this pretty gold one right here i just love the gold tone y'all and i got me some of that and that is monkey business look at that it's just pretty look at that swatch and i love the brush swatches because it really shows you how the shadow is gonna pick up with the brush and go to place on the eyes. So I'm just kind of, I'm actually cleaning off my brush to the right of me here. We have three more shades to go. Camouflage, this one, as in camouflage. And I used this one yesterday. Also, it is a little bit powdery, but picks up nicely on the brush and swatches also very very vibrantly look at that what more you want oh yeah yoy. okay me and this colorful i like it i'm gonna use the other side of the brush and i'm gonna go for hawkward which is the bird hawk this is what hawkward looks like when you pick it up and we're gonna go put it right there and hawkward is such a pretty shade look at that i really don't know how to describe it to y'all but as you can see it's a very pretty shade and i really liked it on the lid yesterday when i put it on as i said just on the primer it looks pretty like that but when i added on one lid a little bit of glitter glue it just really made it pop and i can actually see some of you ladies just going ham with that shade especially if you're a neutral girl so if you're a neutral girl and you like a pop of color like just a little bit of color like there like a blue or a green i'd say go for it party animal that is the blue that vibrant blue so i'm gonna pick up party animal it is wiggling in the pan y'all excuse me just don't fall out because we're going mm. and i'm just gonna put party animal oh hello i uh, uh, excuse me y'all know how i feel about green and blue eyeshadow right this right here eh, what did you just do look at that um i think i'm gonna throw that shade on my lid today okay because <laughs> who's this party animal look at Oy vey. that shadow just just knocked me socks off like really was i wearing socks it would have flown off my feet because that just really bowled me over i am impressed with all the swatches i've done here from top to bottom all 15 shades however this bad boy right here just really tart hello thank you very much Th thank you thank you thank you 
let me wrap up the video and get out of here because I have to go play with this shadow palette. Now, it is, smells really good. It smells like, kind of like cocoa powder, but not quite. <clears throat> Excuse me. Kind of like cocoa powder, but not quite cocoa powder. I don't know. But it just smells really nice. And these are the colors that are in the palette. Let me put it up close to the camera. There y'all can see that. Yes. Isn't she a beauty? Now, I really, really regretted saying I did not want this palette because I absolutely fell in love with this when I saw it. The packaging is pretty. For me, I don't go gaga Google over packaging so much. Few of them, yes, not all the time because by George, I'm not using the packaging. I really like the products because I buy my makeup and I use my makeup and that's the beauty for me. I like my makeup to be not only collector's items and things that look pretty, but I wanna be able to use them. So for me, not only having this pretty packaging is a plus, and it has that, you know, 80s, what do you call that? I don't even remember what they call that. Where you move the thing and it moves and yes. Anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, y'all grown folks. The little kids don't really understand what we talk about when we talk about those things but y'all grown folks know what it is that i'm talking about but this if you're a neutral girl i can see you being very happy and creating a multitude of looks with this palette they they are pigmented they're smooth they blend nicely you can build them up you can go as as um minimalistic as you'd like to go and uh, what's not to like i think it retails for 39 dollars. I, I did not pay 39 dollars because i had coupons and um that being said you don't need it but you might want to get it that's where i'm gonna leave this video so thank you guys for watching um be kind to each other and enough love and that being said enjoy your weekend your life, your everything, and behave. Y'all, y'all, some of y'all just disgusting with your attitudes. Y'all just have some nasty attitude and like to want to come for people. But that part. So learn to love each other. Learn to practice kindness. And with that being said, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.